فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to this episode of Learn Quran with Hussein We are going to be talking about Ahkamu Arra We are going to be talking about the rules that are governing Arra The letter Arra Arra Alif Ba Ta Tha Jim Ha Kha Dal Dal Arra Now the rulings that are governing Arra are just two and they are Arra Al Mufakhama Wa Arra Al Muraqqaqa Arra Al Mufakhama Wa Arra Al Muraqqaqa Arra Al Mufakhama simply means the heavy Ra and the Arra Al Muraqqaqa simply means the light Ra So how are we to recite it and when are we to know that it is the light Ra or the heavy Ra Now it is the heavy raw when the raw is having the vowel fatha or dhamma. For example, when the raw is having fatha, for example, arabana ara. You see the way we are pronouncing it, arabana. So that is a heavy raw. So when it is having fatha or when it is having dhamma, you are going to pronounce it heavily. So the rule in there is ra al mufakhama arabana. Another example is. وهذا الذي رزقنا من قبل هذا الذي رزقنا من قبل رو رزقنا so you are going to pronounce it heavily another um, way that you can actually pronounce ra heavily is when you are having the ra that is having sukun and what is coming before the ra is either fatha or dhamma so you have to pronounce the ra heavily another way you are to pronounce the ra is that when the letter before the raw is having kesra and the reason why the letter before the raw is having kesra is because we are stopping for example we have irji'u ila abikum this here irji'u ila abikum now these are is having kesra right but this kesra that this letter is having it was it was as a result of the stop of the previous verse you know that came before these uh, what was it called these um, um, verse this one is a new verse now the previous verse that came before this verse it stopped with fatha so we are not going to mind this and we are going to recite this as a heavy raw we are not going to say irji'u rather we will say irji'u ila abikum ir ir ra you see ra so these are the places or this is how you pronounce the heavy ra now let's move to the light ra the light ra is to be read light when it is having kesra now this uh, means when the raw is coming in the beginning the middle or the ending of a word or it is in a verb or a noun you are to pronounce it lightly an example is now you see the difference is we have ru and we have ri when you're pronouncing it light it's going to you know it's the third ri ri ru ra ra ru ri Another example is Another example is So this is um, how you pronounce um, the raw. And before we forget, pronouncing the heavy raw also, the raw should be pronounced heavily also. If it is having sukun and the letter that is coming after the ra is a letter of al isti'la is a heavy letter for example um ta is a heavy letter qaf is a heavy letter so when the um, ra is having sukun and any of the heavy letter is coming after the ra it is to be read heavily for example qirtas qirtas so we have ra sukun and ta ta is a heavy letter then we have firqah firqah Firqas, firqah. Now, going to um, reciting the light um, amra, 
the lights are all we have said when it is having kisro whether the kisro is coming or whether the raw it's coming in the beginning the middle or the end of the world you have to read it silent you have to read it light and we gave example another example is that raw there it is to be read like that now um, the last is um, same thing is applied, meaning you have to recite the raw lightly when the um, letter raw is coming after the letter of lean. We are going to be, we are going to treat madu lean, inshallah. The letter of lean are just to wow and yeah. So when the raw is coming after the letter of lean, it is to be read lightly. For example, qadir, khair. You see, another example is wal fajir, wal fajir. Now the last but not the least. Raw is to be recited silent. Sorry, raw is to be recited uh, lightly when the raw is having sukun, and the letter that is coming after the raw is not a letter of isti'la, meaning it's not a heavy letter. For example, we are having raw that is having sukun. We are having ha. Ha is not a is not um, a heavy letter, so it's going to be read anvirhum the anvirhum as opposed to. Kir pas, kir anvir hum. You understand? Then we have Fir'aun, Fir'aun. Then we have Miryah. So these are the way you pronounce Ra. Uh, we've come to the end of this episode, and we will see you in the next episode.